welcome back to Tour Talk Mentoring and Performance Coaching, performance areas making you a better player. Okay, so identifying grain on the greens. Bermuda grass greens here in Florida are really important to understand how to read grain, how to adapt to grain when it comes to speed and break for your putting. We see so many of our junior golfers who have improved their skill set unquestionably, but they're still dropping shots through not understanding grain and getting uncomfortable. When you look at this hole here, you can see a nice clean edge at the top and you can see a burnt frayed edge at the bottom. The burnt frayed edge and the reference points are our alignment sticks. That is the way the grain is running. Okay, so the grain is running on this particular green. It runs in the direction of the alignment sticks as a reference point. So we need to understand where the grain is 100% of the time because as the ball dies down and slows down in speed as it gets close to the hole, the grain takes over. Okay, so let's have a look at this in practical circumstances. Four putts, four different breaks, but the grain remains the same. Here's our reference point for our alignment sticks. A straight putt is now left half putt because we know the grain is running from 11 o'clock to four o'clock in regards to where our ball hole target line is. Okay, so mentally I have to adjust for that. It's not a straight putt, it's inside left. Okay, the ball moves a little left to right. As we walk around the hole, this right to left putt, it is a right edge putt, but I have to allow a little bit more because the grain is now running from what I would call a two o'clock position to a nine o'clock position. So we have to allow more because if I decelerate on this, the grain will take over. Okay, good speed, good break, pat on the back. We walk around to the next putt. It's a straight putt in regards to break, but the grain is now running from what I would call our four o'clock position to our 11 o'clock position. So a straight putt now becomes inside right. It's a feel thing, we're not perfect over it, okay? Straight putt now becomes inside right, let the grain take over and it moves it a little bit. You may be not seeing it on camera, but I'm certainly seeing as I hit the putts, I'm allowing enough grain to, to move, okay? So this one, left to right putt, left edge putt, but the grain is running from probably my nine o'clock over to my two o'clock. What I'm gonna do here is not give it so much speed and you're gonna see how the grain can quickly take it off the break, okay? So I don't allow for grain because I haven't read it correctly or my knowledge is not to the level of my skill set, and I hit what is a left to right putt and it misses low. You'll see a lot of putts missed, even at the beginner level to the highest level of professional golf when they're not reading the grain correctly. Make sure you understand how to read grain on greens. It's very, very important as a junior golfer coming through. We're Tour Talk Mentoring and Performance Coaching, Performance Series.